What is going on you guys? It's your girl Diana back at you with another YouTube video. We have just gotten word that this year's January Community Classic is set to feature Larvitar. So today I'm going to be going over everything you need to know about Larvitar Community Day Classic. So if you're new here, make sure that you subscribe so that you're always up to date on the latest Pokemon news and give this video a thumbs up so that we can push it out into the YouTube algorithm so that more Pokemon fans can see it. And if you would like another way to support the channel, please feel free to check out the merch store. There is a link down below in the description that takes you to not only my merch store, but also all of my other socials so you can keep up with what I'm doing on a daily basis. But let's go ahead and hop into Larvitar Community Day Classic. Bye. Bye. January's Community Day Classic is set to happen on January 21st from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. local time. And as previously mentioned, will feature Larvitar. Larvitar will have the chance of being shiny, and any Larvitar that you evolve up to a Tyranitar, either during the event or up to two hours after the event, so from 5 to 7 p.m. local time, will know the fast attack Smackdown, which has a power of 12 in trainer battles and a power of 16 in gyms and raids. The usual Community Day special research storyline will be available for a dollar, and we will be getting the following event bonuses. Three times XP for catching Pokemon. All lore modules are going to last for three hours. All incense, excluding the daily incense, will last for three hours as well. And lastly, we'll be getting snapshot bonuses. And that wraps up all of the information for Larvitar's Community Day Classic. However, I realized that this was a very short update, so here are a couple of tips so that you can make the most of this day. Tip number one, definitely make sure to stock up on your pineapple berry so that you can get as much candy as possible when catching Larvitar. In addition, since we will be getting XP bonuses during the event, I definitely recommend that you throw on a lucky egg. And if you're running low on Stardust like me, I definitely recommend throwing on a Stardust piece as well. Community Day Classics are a great time to grind for XP, candies, and Stardust. I also definitely recommend, if you have one available, bringing a rock or ground Mega Evolution. Some great options for you to bring would be Mega Aerodactyl, Mega Steelix, and Mega Swampert. But that is going to be everything that you need to know about Larvitar Community Day Classic. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful, and as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys!